What's up guys, this is the Roverman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off where we left last time, I have effectively assaulted every single city on the northwest border. So I can't, uh, Hindustan is under siege, as is Udapur and Ahmed, Ahmedabad, uh, Gujarat. They are all under siege, there is an additional force under here. Pay that's replenishing and actually I might... Get ready to position them to knock out this wandering stack. Ooh, and these wandering stacks, actually. That'd be quite a good option for them. And then I have an army here being recruited of Indian mercenaries. And this army is growing. Ooh, and I'm getting some Gurkhas involved. To form another assaulting city. And this army, once formed, will probably smash straight down to Malwa. Then over here on the east coast, Calcutta has been captured. Katak has just been captured. And this army will push west to hit Berar. Um, I'd like to build some walls in here and recruit a small garrison, uh, but nothing too major. Uh, Ceylon, Ceylon is currently empty because their force has gone on to catch a Kat um, Karnataka or Arcot. And I just wanted to quick check. So that's my roaming garrison force. Got another force being recruited there, but I'm not sure it's going to be needed. So I'm going to leave them for now. This force is, well, was pushing into Athens, um, but we've made peace. I am recruiting another army here in Moscow, but it might not be... It might not be needed. Well, to be honest, I'm still tempted to send it down to Moscow anyway. Um, there's no harm, not Moscow, down to um, India. There's no harm to get involved. Because I'm actually looking at my objectives, and to be honest, I need... I only need five more regions to, to win the campaign. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture India. I think that's going to be... Because ultimately, once I capture these three forts, I'll only need two. Then I'll only capture a handful of forts there. You know, I want to, I want to capture all of India, and it will also include, um, eventually, declaring on Mysore. Um, but I'll kind of want to have the Marathas knocked out by then. Um, but yes, that's the plan, I think, to capture India. It's a nice way to round off this Russian continent, it can, the Russian campaign, because it can be quite easy as Russia just to steamroll west and just attack and just push into Europe, um, which I might do. I never get rid of my saves, I keep all of them, so if I want to revisit it as a Russian world domination campaign, I can give it a go. Um, but I'm more open to trying out some new things. As my channel is still, despite how long it's been going on, my channel is actually quite new when it um, comes to... Uh, to completed campaigns, and I'm judging by that victory condition, I think um, what's likely is that this campaign will finish and it will be replaced by a um, Napoleon Total War campaign. The faction of which you guys have voted for over the last few weeks has been Great Britain. Um, so I think that's going to be the, uh, the result of finishing this. So let's hit end turn. Right now, I've got no money, all our armies are committed, so it's time to see what happens. In the in the uh, in the Indian continent, because I've been thinking about this for um, the last couple of weeks, the which campaign's probably going to end first, and it, I, there was no there was no there was no um, alternative for it being it being Russia. Um, it's the one that I've you know I've worked so hard to grind the Russian Empire up to a, to an economic juggernaut and pushing into India, which which would make it much more powerful if I was going to do a world domination. Um, but I'm doing a world domination with the United States. As you can see, it can bog down a lot when I'm against um, peer states. But if you're doing a world domination and you control an entire theater, as I do, in the United States campaign, then you kind of need that, you know, near peer power to make it interesting. Because right now, granted, Prussia makes it interesting but once I've got the uh, the funds in India, it will really start to be... The risk will be less point to actually um, finishing it off. So, like, well, actually, let's, finish, let's fight this battle first. But I'm going to be deploying backwards because I have no cavalry to skirmish around to deal with their artillery. So let's fight it and deploy backwards. Or deploy rearwards. Late game, you need, like, the big... Well, in anyway, you need the big... Prussian factions, you need the big Austrian factions, you need the big issue, you've conquered enough of the world to make you almost unstoppable. You need 
other nations to be able to match you to provide some sort of threat. I mean, you'll still beat them in the end because you're a human player against the AI. But you want the AI to make you work for it. And then he's kind of taking that flag, taking up that mantle, sorry. The Prussians are doing their best, but if they don't hurry up, then what's going to end up happening is um, it would be too easy for me to exploit A, Russia's internal economy, and also India's export and internal economy, and just push and steamroll everyone. Which of course was the plan, but also means it wouldn't necessarily be an interesting um, end game. Okay, so this is a good spot for an artillery battery. Good field of view. Cannot be... Oh, not that. There you go. Good... F oh, come on. Deploy properly. Good field of view and it cannot be direct... Oh, is it a good position? Hold on. Let's get you out of the way. Let's try deploying these batteries individually. See, there is a limit. Yeah, there is a limit to how close to the edge they can go. See, so that isn't a good field of view. To be honest, there's so few. The Indian forces are so weak. I'm probably just gonna... do something like this. Take my extremely experienced infantry units. Because you know, Cossacks must be fairly old. The 16th. It's not massively old. Mm, to be honest, let's get you. You. So they, those two units have been deployed. Let's deploy another unit here. Again, similarly, they've got mortars, so I'm not going to want to uh, get too close. Good god, these lines are thick. I'm going to be deploying, I'm going to be stretching out that deployment for sure. And then up over here with the guards unit. <sighs> wow. Put these guys back here for support, I guess, for the centre because I've really got no need to put them anywhere else. Oh, there's one artillery battery, is there not? There is. Oh, put them there. Shrink this infantry unit. I know it's going to look ugly and not... That's, really, that's actually really bad. So let's condense the foot guards. Stretch them out a little bit. Oh wow, didn't realize they were that small. Okay, so where's my first volley of artillery gonna go? Because if it hits this artillery, which it could do. Okay, so they've got their mark just firing at will, but they're not actually firing at will. Okay, cool. So let's just do that. Not having it. Okay, we'll fire the walls. They may as well put a hole in the wall if they're not going to do anything. At least give them something to think about. While well, triple speeding time, because there's no, no point. Uh... There goes one of their mortars is abandoned. Their get their guns. It's a basket of goods. What is that? Apples, snooker balls, pool balls, Hindu musketeers. Yeah, one unit of gunners has come out, and they're going to have a rather torrid time. The hope is, once they blow a hole in their walls, they will attempt to try and rebalance and maybe leave through it. Maybe the general's bodyguard might be struck down by a uh, errant cannonball. I'm 
and troopers they will have quick climb by now or they probably they could well do so I don't want to I don't want to send my troops out there in a massive block because on the campaign map there is an additional um, there is an additional stack waiting for me what happened there what happened how did that get what broke there Oh, okay. Oh, that's another section of the wall. Oh, okay. I always thought that would have been part of the gatehouse. Ah, camel gunners have come within range. So yeah, they will get some luck from my lack of... Um, well, actually, because they're all... Because that, that's a nice block of troops. I'm actually going to spread them out a little bit just to maximise a bit of their gunnery fire. But really, this is going to be a... Uh, a non-battle, so sorry about this being sped up, but I will slow down to watch some of the uh, some of the action. <laughs> I do like it when somebody stand on the walls, but they're not firing by rank. I have something to do with them standing on the walls, or the trenches, maybe. Top them down. Give me artillery to focus fire the general's bodyguard. It's a whole bunch of bunch of elephants down in one sortie. Oh, they're getting ready, getting ready to charge. Ever so slowly. Got him. Whatever, <laughs> you're an elephant and you just commit to... Okay, let's not. <laughs> let's just get the hell out of here. Okay, cool. So now they're actually starting to deploy the troops, so let's just get on. Get on with blasting them with canister shot. That was utterly devastating. But it's a good sign that they've got these knackered forces because it means that they are not able to sustain them. Okay. So I think lots of their shots are hitting the barricades. To be honest, it doesn't even matter. want to hit these swarming infantry. Oh, hello. Oh, the chat next to the officers got shot down. Not a great position for the for my guns, but... Yeah, everyone's broken except for the guns in the fort and the this unit of camel gunners. So let's get you... You and you round shotting those camel gunners, if you can. These guys might have a sh chance. No, clearly not. Good cannon blast, and they're still hitting the pikemen, even though I think they might be. Oh no, they are within range. Get, the, get these guys to hit the camel gunners because if I can make the camel gunners route the route of the very last, I can charge my general in there to uh, sort him out. So let's. There's another section of the wall destroyed. I think there's camel gunners are. Oh, yeah. This unit's still in position, but they're a bunch of regular musketeers. Still without bayonets. I don't know if this unit. I don't know if this unit can. I presume they can have bayonets, but let's get the gunners to focus on them because they're under fire. Yeah, there we go. 
They're done. Commit the general. Although, to be honest, the guns may route themselves. Because everyone else is routing and they can tell they're being attacked. And I did charge my general through my infantry again. But they seem to have dealt with it this time. Maybe it's when only when they, you know, drop their swords and then they go into the charge. That counts. Yeah, they're opening fire on my general. Oh no, just round shot. But yeah, triple speed. I forgot to check how many... How many um, turns this city has until they rout, but I don't know. Maybe if my general's in the middle tearing them up, it might count as a win. There you go. Artillery bashed out. Good. Heroic victory for me. Um, well, to be honest, next turn it will probably just be an auto-resolve assault because they don't really have many resources. 29 men. -ish. No, wait. That was me. My lost. Sorry. They have 200 men, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Raid away. I don't know. Maybe do I make mice or my allies? Oh, the call and got pushed back from the British. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. The fishing port will help Ooh, it's all... grow. A trade port will provide an income for maintain siege trade. for now. A naval port allows the construction of warships. See, do I maintain siege? I don't think I do. Um, but I do check other things. He got Nitkin, it's being replenished. 20th Regiment of Foot. 23rd Regiment of Foot. Oh, let's get you a unit of Company Cavalry, as we're in India. Sarmage replenishing, but they may as well push on to Berra. Let's build walls. And get a couple of units of. Yeah, a couple of units of. Two units of militia and two units of supplies. You're more than enough to guard. Feeling this guy wants to try and put him there. So if he wants to interfere with um, Lahore, then he will. They will be in the way. Back Barabad is mine. Cause fix you. Destroy you. Destroy you. Con mail, con mail, university, destroy the university. And is there another one? Nope. But if I get rid of that, we should be equals p equals. I want to prevent them to attack me there because they've got a nice reinforcing army. Though, to be honest, attacking this one could be fun, because I'll just swarm into it and then get ready to defend against those guys. I think that's what I'll do, and I will do it this part. Uh, metal roads, metal roads. Metal roads, metal roads. Don't have a say on you. Okay, so let's assault here. Yep, the idea is don't, well, don't worry about the guns, um, just charge in. I could also resolve. It wouldn't be as fun for you guys, and to be honest, because we're at the tail end of this campaign, um, I don't want to, uh, want to start auto-resolving when I've got the last handful of capture. Seems a bit unnecessary. So I think we're probably, in, we're probably on to the last, what, ten parts-ish of this campaign? Tops? Well, I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so just keep my guns limbered for now. Deploy one unit on one... F uh, a bunch of guys on one flank. Well, maybe not five. No, to be honest, to be honest I think I just want to get everyone in.
Do they have no... Reinforcements delayed? Oh no, there they are. Coming from the left. Dispatch some units to connect to, to um, attack the walls. Dispatch this unit as a bit of a flank guard for that wall attempt, because otherwise the AI will try to interfere, as is their prerogative. Just want to get one unit into this house. Because it's cavalry. Get these guys to run up here. Get these guys to deploy square prematurely. Okay, I could... I forgot about this. I could just capture the city immediately. Um, okay, so let's turn off... Some cavalry would come round. Oh no, not you. You try form square, but you'll form square with them inside you. Oh no, to be honest, this is, this is really buggy. And I've got an option to end it really quickly as well. No, actually, I don't. No, no, no. What I want to do is so where's my unit of don't want to get too near the gate Ideally, I want them to keep this gate so they feel they can run in it. So keep you keep you away from it. God, it's still tight. They're still. Then, if things aren't going bad, which I don't think they will. So the reason why I'm doing this is I want to keep. Um. I want to try and chew up this reinforcing army because right now if I win I assume they leave fairly unmolested.
Whereas what I would like... Is a. Oh, don't be bugged outside the walls, please, guys. Could well be. Yes, at least in this position, I will be able to um, assault and cause them damage before I win. Because I positioned my general such that he could quickly walk into there and capture it if he wants. See if we can make them run down the walls. If these guys up, if these guys up here are bugged, maybe we can make these guys come down. But yes, this way, I'd like them to try come through this gate. Cause I've got quite a nice killing field, and my troops are still trying to get in. There's just so damn many of them. No, oh, there they are. They were about to engage. Yeah, this way. I get the fort while at the same time causing damage to some of their troops. Okay, let's let these guys, once they get into position, very slowly, because they're very tired. Get them! Okay. Now's the time, I think. Because there's two units left. They've all been pretty molested. And my guys can open fire still for another minute. Which is probably... Plenty of time. Ooh, actually there's some more of them coming. So let's knock you off the wall, off the section. Get into a bit of gunplay with some of these Indian regiments. This one unit of Cossacks is going to be doing so much work. Infantry guards, no less. Shamal Camel Gunners, Hindi Musketeers, Hindi Musketeers, Infantry Guards, yeah, I'm sure these guys, even though there's just the two of them, these chaps are Russian. Go on, present. Trying the old loop around. Yeah, these guys want to have a gun, want to have a uh, melee fight. No, let's put you over. No, no, don't charge from that direction. Charge into the back of them. Or a bunch of you bugged out on the walls, on the gate, sorry. They should chew up these Hindu musketeers. The Royal Infantry Guards might be a bit tricky, but c'est la vie. If 
find it, Russian troops are just very good at close combat in general. Particularly my Cossacks. Melee attack 15. Oh god, my regular line entry is 15 as well. And has my game crashed? Nope. Phew, my screen just went black for a second there. Ah, the Hindu Musketeers are f uh, getting some victories against my troops. See, this is the problem with sieges alert. So my guys are bugged out against the wall. So this unit is now kind of useless. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, the royal Indian guards broke before the Hindu musketeers. But yeah, just for good measure. the end of that battle good whoo said but you know it was fun a bit different i could have uh i could have taken the uh i could have taken the city a bit earlier but you know it's no fun that and also means this unit back here is now pretty molested in a week Let's destroy the Sudo's palace destroy the rise observatory fix the army council and can't do anything against you and then replenish where possible, which is possible because I lost so few men. Excellent. So this army that's replenishing, you just head straight on to malware. This army's more than adequate to... Am I recruiting anything in here? Just crew unit of infantry. And then let's get this unit of Gurkhas inside. No, they get them into the army, actually. Get my militia's not my infantry's not necessarily, necessarily great, but... Neither's theirs, and they've got a bunch of just a bunch of cav. Takani lancers. Sound pretty good, but I don't know how good they actually are. Right, yeah, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. We will continue our push into India.